I need your help, friend. Perhaps Professor Rockham was right to have had faith in you. I still have my reservations. Isadora, as you will see, was not who she seemed. I can only hope that you are. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. Hello? Isadora? Isadora? I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father... Oh, first of all... What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neve was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. We must gather the others. to 
your common room. All right? Longer. Not my father, not my students, no one. Isadora, set down your wand. Professor, you taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! <laughs> below Hogwarts where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us, to allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is safe from Ranrock for now? If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Yes. Professor Fig sent an owl informing me that you'd be coming. He was a bit cryptic. Said you need to have a special wand crafted. That you'd bring me the materials. Yes, sir. I have them here. Oh! My, how extraordinary. 
Remarkable design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is something else entirely. Keeping me on my toes, aren't you? I think I can work with what you've brought me. Let me see what I can do. It is done. I should warn you, I've never seen a one like this before. My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? Might this sudden visit to the wand maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? I have no idea what you're talking about. That repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it. <laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said, children should be seen and not heard. Rain is finally over. I'll need to send an owl to Natty right away. For now, though, I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what's happened. Are you ready to finish Harlow? I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie, and that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? I do not believe it did. Harlow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Harlow, and he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. Harlow's reign ends today. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. 
I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. That I do. I sense he is close. Where is he? I do not know. We should look around. Avelio. Are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine, and it will do me good to see my friend. Very well. But do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, mother. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Only because of you. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I've had better days. But Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... You did what came naturally. I suppose it was instinct. Yes. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty? Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my. I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. Based on instinct, my father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? Taking down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. And you say they made it after you placed the Moonstone? Do you know why or what it means? Does it have to do with the Snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas, and yet only run so deep. It's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did, and I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best. Deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. You knew the poachers would try to kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend. But I shall say that I was not surprised. 
it was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me, until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. I believe the symbol created by the moon calves dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden. And serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please, go on. I have seen that symbol only once, on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The Snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. You said you divined a series of events before our paths crossed. What were they? I saw the arrival of a stranger, the threat of an enemy, and the return of an old friend. I believe now that you are the strangers. The poachers are the enemy, and the old friends are the Snidgets. I also saw two places tied to these events. The cave with the moonstone and the henge. The latter was bathed in moonlight. If you're right about this place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there. We cannot afford to lose the Snidgets once again. I got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? It's the one the Mooncalf's made at the Henge. Of course Doran implied as much, but to see it up there... Could this actually be where the Snidgets are hidden? Let's find out. Doran's waiting for us just up ahead. I'm ready if you are. Can you believe it? Actual Snidgets. I'm glad we seem to be a step ahead of the poachers. It is a little strange we haven't heard anything from them. If we're lucky, they're still poring over Gran's research. There was a fair amount. We, on the other hand, had Doran to guide us. Even if the poachers do somehow stumble upon this place, we shall be long gone. Greetings. I hope we haven't kept you waiting long, Doran. Not at all. Then again, it is not I who awaits your arrival. Do you have the Moonstone with you? We do. Good. It is as important to what happens next as both of you are. So, what does happen next? What are these pillars here? A safeguard, I suspect. There is only one way to find out. And as for how to go about that, the two of you may know better than anyone. That did it! Look, Doran, a doorway! I suspect we all know what lies beyond that. Revenia! And now, I'm afraid. Defender! At least, we're fine. You're not coming in with us. If the Snidgets are here, the herd will want to see the truth of it for themselves. Elec, especially. Go on without me. I will rejoin as soon as I am able. Ugh. Revelia! Little puppy sweeting! Forgot how to cover your track! What was that? What the hell? That was... No. Arrested! Come on, get lucky now and then. Can bring That was a mistake! Back in the hunter! Get down! Get down! Get down! Get down! Ready your wands. The fight is going to What's that? Well, stop right now.
with us against your kind. I am glad to have witnessed this. I now believe all that Doran told me. They are the ones I saw, Elik. Finish your work here, brother. All the events you divined have not yet come to pass. is to break the charm. You want us to... I only ever wanted to see them safe, which they are. You should do it. themselves and surely once word gets out of their reappearance <sighs> no harm will come to them the centaurs will see to that you have my word thank you doran for helping us to find them and to fight for them it is you who deserves the merit child you did what the poachers would never have remember that <laughs> 